hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, this is my monitor. This is my computer down here at the studio. So I just want to open up a program called SheetCam. And this is the program that comes with my, it came with my Dynatorch uh, CNC table. It was on a little thumb drive. And this is what got me tripped up when I first tried to use that table was, I didn't know about this program. It comes with the machine, it's right there. And it allows you to open up a new part and it's gonna ask you, do you want to import a drawing? And that's what we made over in the CAD program was a drawing of this base plate that I need for a sculpture. So I'm gonna say yes. And it's going to say, what do you want? And I'm going to say, here's my base plate for Desert Dancers. And it's a DXF file. And I'm going to open that. And it's going to ask me again, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. And it's going to say, all right, well, the scaling is in inches. That's correct. The drawing position, where on this four foot by four foot piece of steel, do I want this drawing to show up? And I'm going to say, in the lower left corner, please. Ta-da! There it is. So this is my little 24-inch diameter circle with my four bolt holes, or anchor holes, that we made in the CAD program. Now we just need to do a little bit of work over here in this program, and then we can take it to the table. Now, if you look on the screen, you can see, all right, I've got my background. This is my, my piece of steel. Got that nice bright red line. That's going to be my outside cut. But I've got these four yellow lines, these yellow circles. Those are my anchor holes. So I have to do two different steps in here. I have to tell it to do cut the anchor holes first and then go cut the outside. We're going to go up to Mode. And we're going to say Edit Contours. And then I'm going to come down here and just highlight one of those uh, anchor holes right click and say move it to a different layer because right now everything is on the same layer so the machine's going to go oh, wait a minute which do i do first so i can say move it to a new layer and another menu opens up and it says a new layer and i'm going to say h-o-l-e-s so you can see this yellow circle is now changed to a red circle so i can come over here and highlight that one hit control and that one, and that one, and say move to the whole layers. So they're all active, you know, they're all grouped together, they're all on one layer. So now I'm just ready to tell the program, all right, let's get to work. Let, let's get these, let's get these converted to the correct format. We can get out to the studio, or get out to the shop, and we can make the cuts. So I just need to go to operation and say plasma cut. A new window is going to pop up over here, and it's going to say, well, jet cutting, so same as plasma cutting. And it's going to say, do you want, you know, what contour method do you want? Right now it says outside. That's not what we want. That'll make the holes too big. You can see a little graphic representation here. This is the part. This is the, the cutting head, and it's on the outside of that part. If I click on inside, now it's going to make the cut on the inside of the line, and that's exactly what I want. Come down to the next line, which is layers, and tell it, do the hole. And then the next line is half inch steel, and the bolts are already set for the plasma cutter, so the plasma cutter knows what to do. So all of the rest of this, this is all good. I don't have to mess with any of this. I can just say, okay. and. These lines show up, and here's the cutting head. Starting over here on this corner, it's going to come up to number one, make that cut, number two, number three, number four, and park itself. So that part is done. It shows up over here under operations as inside offset holes. Now I just need to go back to operation in the, on the top menu and say plasma cut again, and say make it an outside offset and make it the visible line or the line that was left over and say, okay. And now this outside edge has changed color and it's gonna start right there and it's going to run all the way around. So both of these operations are ready to go now. And the last thing you have to do is just come up to your upper right or upper left corner to file and say run post processor and it's going to say, here's your file name, base plate for Desert Dancers, 
dot T A P. That's the format it's going to change it into. So it's a G code or a tap file. And you say save. It already exists because I've done it already. Do uh, you want to replace it? Yes. And it's going to say, okay, let me run through all of this, check sure, make sure everything's right, make sure there's no errors. And you say, okay, now we're all done here with cheat camp. You know, so now I can just put it on a thumb drive, take it out to the other computer that's on the CNC table and call it up in that program, throw a piece of steel on the table, zip, 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 and cut it all out. That's next, right? That's next, yeah, we'll, we'll do that next time. So let me finish up here, shut this guy down, and you guys are gonna reach down here and hit that like button for me, and I'll see y'all next time. Hey Kevin, what's that pretty thing on your monitor? Well, that's a self-portrait. <laughs>